Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time of day this is for you. Welcome, it's me, Wingish Knee Bame, Jackie Quay, sweet grass, water, medicine woman, your friend, lay freaky ass medicine woman. Also, Christiana Carr, Chris Carr, superstar. All this beautiful divine being right here, welcome. You beautiful divine beings, right here too. Are you noticing something different, something big in the middle of my screen there? Yeah, I'm so excited. Just came in yesterday, I just ordered these. I saw them online, on the Facebook, I believe, and it was my Christmas gift. For myself, I ordered like one little trinket thing for my kids, and then something for myself too. Oh, excuse me, I have alarm going off there, saying time to go to school, but no school today. Ah! There we go, keep that glow. There you go, and then you can see the glowing. Then you see the glowing. Excuse me, please. I'd be right back here. Not one to keep my phone always on me, so I gotta go across the room to get it, no? Sometimes I have it right beside me. For the most part, no. But for the most part, no. So, that's a big thing. If I don't get back to you, right? It's probably because I haven't heard it. You know. I have my Facebook separate, like, so I have, like, the two Facebook pages. So one, the Messenger, I have on my tablet, and the other one, I have the Messenger on my phone. So the main one is on my tablet, so that my phone's not dinging all the time. I don't like my phone dinging at me all the time. I don't like to be controlled by my phone. <laughs> I don't like to be controlled by anything outside of myself. That's been my little thing. My strong will. Rrr. That's my rebel. I was just telling my dad, too. <laughs> I learned about commercials and stuff like that. My little protests, right? And I, when I started playing the commercials at the movies, remember that? I'd be like, I didn't come to the movie to see commercials. And I'd be like, la, 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 la. <laughs> I'm not looking at the screen. I'm not listening to that. You're not catching me with your subliminal messages. That's my little rebel, my little... Activist guess I, I guess maybe when I'm not following along you can't get me <laughs> For the most part I guess that's what frustrates huh? That's hard to fool me. Well, that's because I got fooled too many times, right? It was the butt of so many jokes and stuff that then I learned I caught on hey Even if I don't know I can tell when a joke is gonna oh no You just want me to say something because then you're gonna make me look like the fool whatever, right? Uh, okay, maybe. I won't tell you that one. Certain jokes, right? And twist, twist and words. Anyways, what is these? What is these you say? What is these? Okay, then we'll jump right in. The moon woman cards. Moon woman cards are based on knowledge channeled through the dreams of Rachele Vahruker and beautifully illustrated by Sohar Hafi. Uh, the purpose of this card set is to guide and develop the wisdom of the woman's female cycles in correspondence to the moon's 28-day lunar cycles for the sake of healing and empowerment. This set includes 28 vi feminine vibrational cards and two informational instructional cards, as well as an information booklet containing further details about the cards and potential spreads. I wish all us all a healing and empowering personal feminine journey. We are all one. Rachali. Baruker. So it's feminine, but you know what? We all have, right, masculine, feminine side. So either having fear of the male persuasion there to get to know what a woman's cycles might go like. And you know, males have those cycles too. We have that woman energy in us. You may not have all the equipment, right? Just like we don't have all your equipment. But apparently all that equipment started up the same in the womb. Some just became innies and some became outies, but they all serve the same function somewhat, right? Reproduction, that's the same function, but how they function within that function is a little different. But look at these are just such beautiful cards. Such beautiful cards. There's there's info. Is it, is it backwards if you needed info interested in for yourself? Just beautiful. Let me just... It won't come out of there now. Oh, it's a nice little round. I love this. They're big. They're big, though. But they are so, 
so beautiful. Look at those, eh? Da 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 da. Oh, I love that one. The child energies. Wow! Look at that. The pipe. Mm mm mm. Mm 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 mm. mm. Cut purples. Like that there. That's one on the top. Ah, if you're interested, may maybe we'll pull one of those out afterwards as a reflection. I was thinking today, I can't remember, was that Friday or what day was it that um, I just read from the book? I thought maybe I could do something like that, right? Do maybe like a focus Friday and we focus in on one thing because we can spread ourselves out. Hmm, what you think? Well, I'm going to do the dailies, and then maybe we'll start that next week. If I hear any replies from you about what what would be your preference, or what would you like to see, it'd be nice. I hear from enough, right? Then I, hmm, okay, yeah, it's a great idea. Let's try that one out. Let's go. Or if enough, right, say that they want the same thing, well, what am I going to have to do, right? <laughs> if made your choice, I'm going to have to follow through, right? <laughs> eh. As long as I'm willing to. <laughs> Weirdos. No, I am. Uh, me too. Yes, how are you? Come on. Be a weirdo too. It's fun. Most funnest way to be. At least it is for me. Anyways, helps me swing it. Helps me not take everything so seriously, right? You have to be serious about living your life, but don't take your life so seriously, right? Gotta get over ourselves, right? Don't be so hard of hearing. Open up those ears, right? Let's get to change these stone ears into those ears. Softness, right? Here's that softness, not all those harsh. Ha, ha, ha. Love it. <laughs> Weirdo! <coughs> mm -hmm. Here we go. Oh, 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 oh. We'll just do our overall daily guidance, and maybe we will pull one of those. Moon woman cards. Yep, they came in yesterday. I sat there with them. I just read the whole little book yesterday. I just looked at all the cards. I left them in the order they came in. I just that's how I sit with my cards, infuse them with my energies, my guidance. You know, align them with the source, the intentions of the creators, or where that come from too, right? And they came from Israel, these cards. Came all the way from Israel. That's where they started out. That's where they were birthed into being. Interesting, huh? Interesting. Okay. Let's get these shifted and then calling in all of our energies from the east. The path of illumination and clarity. Place of fire. Place of man. <sighs> calling in all of our energies from the south. Oh, that's the childhood place of innocent, place of waters. Now I'm seeing some places flip the, the west and the south for the elements, and they say the element of earth and physical is down here, and we have the element of waters up here. But I still like going with the waters down here because as kids, we're going by those emotions. It's our emotions that's driving us, and then we learn in those physical bodies. Right? Yes. <laughs> We're not really paying attention. We learn how to work these physical bodies, right? But we learn to appreciate the physical bodies as we get up in those years, <laughs> right? So we're leaving it. This is how we've intended. This is, you know, it's the intentions. It's the intentions. <sighs> so the waters, the emotions in the south here, that's where we have it, the innocence. <sighs> and then we call back all our energies from the west. That's the physical, the earth, the woman place of introspection. And calling back all of our energies from the north. That's the air, the mental. That's our wisdom years. And we walk our red road, our earth walk, right? Goes from south, the childhood, where we're following the cycles. We're being taught those cycles before us, right? And we don't create shifts. We don't create movements and expansion. If we just keep repeating those same cycles. So, but as a childhood, that's what we're conditioned into these cycles. We're taught, you know. Not too many of us were just allowed to be free, right? We have to have some guidance, not like free, you know, have to have some guidance. But 
Not all of us were taught to think for ourselves. We just taught this is the way it is, and you just keep following that, right? Not all of us were taught to stand out, right? Some of us have, oh, well, you gotta hide, right? Oh, you know, this isn't appropriate, that. Also, Weasel, and I love the story of Weasel, how he can pickpocket the divine and leave the divine contemplating the divine navel. <laughs> pickpocket creator and leave creator contemplating the divine navel. Whatever, right? Our wisdom. We learn how to pass our wisdoms on and change those cycles in a stealthy way. Because if we get up and say, hey, 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 you're wrong and whatever, we can shift those cycles in ourselves in a quiet way. But that makes a great big impact, right? That really stands out, even though we're doing it in such a quiet, subtle way. It makes a huge difference that, that can be seen. I don't know, what is that saying to you? East to west is the blue road of spirit that's always with us. We transform from these bodies back into spirit. We enter the eastern gate and we come. We're, we're the, the, the spirit, is it transformed into these physical bodies? Or is it just squashed and stuffed right into these tight spaces? I don't know. Right, but we need that spirit. If we connect to that spirit, we can have transmute those poisons as during our earth walk because the spirit is still with us. As we're on our earth walk, east to west, just as the sun is always there, right? Grace and ease we can call upon, right? With grace and ease we can exit through that western door and come back in through this. Hey, you know, life doesn't have to be so hard. That's what spirit wants us to know. We make it harder on ourselves when we attach too much to the physical beings and we think this is all there is. Mm, I don't know what's that saying to you. Above, below, and within. Red them, spread them, spread them so we can rent them. <laughs> oh, cool thing, eh? Those things come in just as I'm on my moon time flow. Just as I'm in the flow time of my moon time. In comes my moon woman cards. Gosh, I love that. I am so in tune, I'm so tapped in, tuned in, and turned out. Well, you know, depends on how you look at it. <laughs> weirdo, weirdo, weirdo. That's how I love me best, don't you know? Oh, oh, oh. Right? Up. Oops, there's one jumped out. Low. And within. So we're going to do that like we did yesterday. Yesterday was the lover's cards. Ecstasy, balancing those energies. And what is that? Here we go. The ever deepening of love for yourself, for your source, for all. Seeing us all as part of this beautiful, beautiful creation. All right, we'll set that down here. That's the exemplar of love, ever deepening love. Mm, that one will be a short thing. Maybe I'll read from that book afterwards. Ah, right as a focus on these cards. Help us bring in that ever deepening love for yourself, your relationships, your partner relationships. How are you playing that? Remember, because the common denominator, all our relationships, is ourselves. Right? What's that relationship to ourselves? Are we ever deepening that love ourselves and our source? And that not above all, as, as a human being, too, as part of this creation, too. So let's not forget ourselves in that. Well, let's start with the overall energies. That's what we're going to do. We'll go like this, and then the male, female sides, and then. Let's see if I'm going to read that. We'll see where we're at. Because we're already at 15, 14, 14. So. Overall energies. This one. And then. This one. This is the overall energies for today. Going into the weekend. Aha. Introspection. Looking within. Looking at those goals that we had. What are your goals? Are your goals just for you? Are your goals just for the material? Do your goals include others too? Mm, what is that? That introspection. Would you want to be when you grow up? Mm, what was your goals in relationships? Do you have uh, 
You know, what you want to get out of that relationship, what you want to give into that relationship. What does that take a look? We're looking inside because we're reflecting on those relationships, those ever-deepening love for ourselves, for the rest of humanity, whatever that is, and our boundaries. Do we put boundaries on that? Do we limit who we love? Do oh, I'll only love myself if, if this and that, whatever, right? Is there conditions on that? Do the boundaries become more like walls, right? Because boundaries are not walls. Boundaries let people know where the door is. Something like that. I can't say it poetically as it was that post that I saw. But looking at that, having an introspection to those boundaries. What are your boundaries? Maybe some kept you safe. See, we're looking. We're looking within. Looking at those boundaries. Are they keeping us safe? Or are now they're actually holding us back, right? Maybe they kept us safe as a child. But now to continue with those boundaries. <gasps> They're keeping us blocked in, keeping us restricted, keeping us from expansion. What is that for you, right? So that's the overall this week, and we're looking within, we're looking at those boundaries. Do we respect others' boundaries as well? Hmm, hmm, let's look, let's look at that, let's reflect. Let's reflect, I like thinking before we act. That is warm. That is warm right there. Oh, right there. Okay. Thinking before we act. Uh, we're retreating because that's what we were doing yesterday, taking that retreat before we act. If we find ourselves making quick judgments, whatever, about ourselves, about anything else, it's time to retreat that moon launch, right? And if it's your woman, it's your moon time, that's right. You can go to the red tent, whatever. <laughs> to the black tent, whatever. Black lodge, I think that's what it's called. Moon lodge. Moon Lodge, Black Lodge, Red Lodge, whatever. <laughs> but that's what we're doing. We're taking that introspection. We're taking that time. We're retreating. We're not going to go qu quick action. No, not fast talking. We're doing that deep dive because that's how we have that stamina. We retreat. We, we go a little and then we retreat. That's how we keep that stamina. It's resting, right? Elk, elk will have little, like a one solid pace. Whereas, you know, the prey on elk have bursts and then they'll run out. So you can only have so many bursts, but the stamina, that one solid pace, can carry that on through the distance. So, what is that? Are you using renewable energies? Are you trying to push yourself when your body's telling you to retreat? When your body's saying, this is a boundary for me? Okay, you've reached a limit in, in, in me, and you need to stop, <laughs> right? Or I'll make you. What is that for you? Right? Having that ever-deepening love, this piece of Mother Earth that we have, right? For all of creation, Looking at ourselves as creation. We're deepening love for ourselves as part of creation. The only part, right? Because as we love ourselves as part of creation, we're going to see everybody else as that too, right? We're only one piece of the whole. Only one piece of the whole. And it wouldn't be whole without that one piece, right? Do your part. You're that one piece. It's not going to be a whole picture if you're not going to do your part to get your piece in there. Find your peace in him. Mmm, what do we do? What do we do with that? What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? But what do we do? Okay, we can think about it, but what do we do? What do we do with these thoughts? What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Doodly diddly do. Doodly doodly do. Doodly doodly do. Doodly doodly do. Doodly do. Wow. We get in touch with our intentions. What is our intentions? What are we intending to do? And is our actions lining up what we're intending to do? We're intending to help. Are we really taking that time to listen, to retreat and see what is going to help? We're trying to push it. Or, you know, do we intend to, to help and it'll take as long as it takes? Or are we trying to, to rush that? We're not retreating and we push. Hmm. What is that? What is your intentions? Are you letting yourself heal in your own time? Are you pushing? This isn't happening fast enough. I need to heal faster. What is that? Confront that. Confront that. Are you trying to make something happen in yourself? Are you trying to heal yourself hard and being hard on yourself? Or are you doing it with love? Because this is how we heal. It's through love. Healing. Love is the most healing power. Love does not hurt. Love only helps. If it's hurting, it's not love. If it hurts, it's not love. Love does not hurt. Love is healing. Love is nurturing. 
Love is freeing. Love is patient. Love is kind. Okay? Love does not hurt. Love is not judgmental. Hmm. So let's confront. What are you confronting? Do you have an, uh, what, what is your idea of love? Are we ever deepening our knowledge of love? Do we still just have this, this human concept of love, right? What is that? Love is the ultimate power. What is love to you? What's your intentions when it comes to love? You know, there's, oh, that's my ex used to sing that too. Cruel to be kind. Do we need to be cruel to be kind? Is cruelty kindness? Really? And, you know, do we need to be people that think of it that way? I don't know. Well, hey, everybody has a right to wear it uh, that they think. It's not, not, not pushing it on anybody else, right? Even if as somebody's trying to push something on you, well, hey, it's up to you. We are free will beings. So we can sit and complain about how they want me to believe and blah, 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 blah. But you realize we're doing that. We're not, we're not doing any better than they are, right? So let's watch. Pluck the log from thy own eyes. Let's look at that. Look at that. Uh-huh. And our relationships that ever deepening love, those relationships helping us fall more in love with ourselves, right? Wanting helping us to want to be more of ourselves. Those are the best relationships, right? That see you and want you to be you and support you being you and don't think don't say you should be anything else but you. Right? That's that ever deepening love. As creator made us, right? Love in ourselves as creator made us, right? Letting go of that aggression. Like, let's be assertive. We can assert ourselves. We don't have to be aggressive. But some things, there's been too much aggression in this world. It's time to whoo, whoo, sit back and retreat and take some gentleness, right? The mothers be aggressive up with their babies fighting a fever all night. Our bodies can do that and aggressively fight off these illnesses. But if we're not giving them that time to rest and retreat, how can they? How can they if they need to get aggressive with an illness? We've used up all their energies on, hey, maybe it's it's trivial things, right? We didn't tap into our creativity. So let's look at that. Are we just being aggressive? Because it doesn't, it really doesn't take much creativity just to go Arrah! and stomp your feet. That's not very creative, right? But to be assertive, to, to assert this is who I am, this is the truth, right? Hey, you're fine to believe whatever you believe, and I'm not going to be affected by what you believe, right? Even if you're trying to make me believe that I know I have a choice, so I can disengage, whatever, if I need to totally get away, because you're not going to stop, you're going to keep pushing. If you're going to be aggressive about that, then I can creatively find my way out of here, whatever that is, without putting somebody else down for their own. Everybody has, you know... Their own experiences, you know, their own beliefs, where your beliefs come from, from your experiences or what you were told. Hmm, I don't know. Let's get a little deeper. Let's get a little deeper. Find out what's inside. Dig a little deeper and shine your light bright. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Take that introspection, looking at our boundaries. And our goals, you know, do we have boundaries on our goals? Do we have limits on what it looks like when our goal is? Have we limit ourselves on what it looks like when it has been achieved? Hmm, so if it doesn't look like this, then I haven't gotten it. But if you take a look, right? Have, have you? Has it already manifested? Hmm, I don't know if we get hooked up on one way of seeing. Let's see, let's look at that. Introspection and goals have boundaries, a little deeper meaning in that, a little clarification. On that place, just the one card. One, one card. Mm, clarity. There we go. Nurturing Lodge of the Bulls, Fruits of Devotion. Look at that, right? Nurturing Lodge of the Bulls, that love. The Fruits of Devotion. Where did your Fruits of Devotion go? Were you pouring... Pouring your love out to somebody that wasn't giving it back, that wasn't maybe even available because they had still some learned. Nothing's wrong. Everybody is innocent here, okay? So we're trying to look at things without blaming, right? So where is your fruits of your devotion, right? Because we give to what, what, what we're loyal to, to fear, to love. What is that? Did you pour it all out on people that were just there taking? And you're feeling drained and you're feeling unlovable because you were giving to people that weren't, in that place where they could give you what you needed back or about to return that to show appreciation for that 
What is that? What is that? What are you nurturing in your lives? Are you nurturing those boundaries that keep you locked inside? Or are you helping yourself get out? Are you helping others? Are you seeing the beautiful part of creation that you all you have something to offer? Everybody does. Or you're just going there, what am I getting? What am I getting? What am I getting? What am I getting? Give me, give me, give me, give me. Give me, give me, give me, give me. Right? No, see, when everybody's coming in with something to give, there's not anybody going to be without. You'd be open to receive. Maybe some might sit in the corner waiting for somebody to serve them. But in a place, it's all go help yourself kind of a thing. And somebody waits for somebody to serve them. And then they go, well, I'm all hungry. Because they didn't go and, you know, pick what they wanted because that was the way it was. Whatever that is for you. What is that in your life? And then with your introspection and goals, right? What did you nurture in your life? What seeds did you give that most attention to? The seeds of what you didn't have and don't have, don't have, don't have? Or the seeds of what you do have and that appreciation? And did you watch how the more you appreciated what you had, the more it seemed like you had to appreciate? Hmm, I don't know. So let's retreat and look at that. Have we burnt out because we tried to push, make things happen? Is that time to retreat and look look at that? What, 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 what? For you personally, do you take that time to retreat? Or do you just keep pushing? Okay. That one jumped. Okay, we'll have a quick look at that one. Look at that. And well, they kind of go together anyway. Apprentice of Pipes and Ace of Pipes. Right? channeling the light you know what we're gonna take that too they came out together i'm not gonna take that other one that i just got stuck to it because look at they do kind of go rest and retreat we're channeling the light we're also re resting for that inspiration and excitement waiting for that that's that time to channel that light right when we feel that not when we're trying to make that happen when those feelings come up woof, there's that time to act right but we need to retreat first we retreat. We go into meditation mode. We go into clearing our mind mode. Whatever that is for you. You know, something creative you do to help you to get in tune. To have you to tap in, tune in, and get turned on. Right? That's what we do in channeling that light. That stamina. We need to retreat. We need to take that time and rest that body. To get in touch with our own intentions. With our own goals and how... You know, what we're devoted to is that helping to lead us to what our goals, to what we wanted to be when we grew up. Basic survival. Are we looking just for basic survival? What's the intentions? Just to survive? Or is it to thrive, to live, right? Because we all have enough for basic survival. So confront, confront anything in you that says there isn't enough to go around, right? We appreciate those days gone by and we can see we're always fully supported. How there always was enough. Always was enough. How even in wars and when we can look back and how, how we've all come together. The unity that has come out of that division. Hmm. Unity coming from division. Right? Appreciate those days gone by that shows us what happens when we divide ourselves. But we're so divided even in ourselves. There's good parts of us and bad parts of us. We have to have that ever-deepening love for all parts of ourselves. Right? Because if we think there's a part of us that's unlovable, we're not going to allow it to be loved. What is that? Right? What is that? Intend to appreciate what you've got. We have enough for basic survival. Let's confront that. We don't need to be aggressive and fight for it because it's that scarce, that scarcity and that lacking, that there's not enough. Right? So remember, those that want us controlled, want to control us, want us to come to them, want us to believe there isn't enough, want us to believe that we have to fight. We have to fight just for our basic survival. Hmm. Look at that. And if all that money that went into all these war things went into freeing, uh, helping others, helping the people and supporting the people instead of how we're going to kill other people that have to ever try to kill us, right? And what, what does that keep going? What does that? Hmm. Time to get out those old cycles. We've learned enough from war. Why do we need to keep doing that? Let's learn from peace and love. Learn from peace and love, right? Crafting. Find, find, find your creativity, right? What is that? What are you crafting in your life? What is your special talent? Whatever that is for you, right? Maybe it doesn't have to do like a crafting thing. Maybe it's not a dancing thing. Maybe, you know, it's in creative the way you're setting up your home, the way you're cleaning your home, the way you walk, the direction you take, 
to work or to when, when you walk, right? Walking down a new road, whatever that is, that crafting. We're building you and we're crafting a new society too, right? One without the aggression, one that honors their creativity and all, that we're all part of this, right? To take command for the good of all, right? That creativity, that crafting, we're getting in touch with that. Emperor, that's the number four. Four, right? Balance. Form, order, taking command for the good of all. This is what we need to do. Take a command for the good of all in each of us. Is your intentions, your goals just for you? Just for to fulfill those superficial wants and desires? Or is it for those needs? Hmm, getting in touch with those needs. And as I'm feeling full and whole, I'm not going to try and take it from you. So we command in our own lives for the good of all. So I'm not going to try and take from you. It's not about power over. It's about that power in. Right? Excuse me. We all have that power inside. No exceptions. So we take command of our own lives for the benefit of all. And then we have that ever-deepening love for ourselves and for all. Right? Because when I see you as a divine being... When I see myself as a divine being, I see you as that divine being. We always have both of these energies in here. I honor. I honor. And the light in me sees the light in you. If we work on that, right? But it begins within. If we don't see it in ourselves, if we don't even believe that it's out there, we're not. We're not going to. See that? Okay. Right? I want to read it. I want to read it. Let's read it. The ever deepening of love. Ever deepening love. From above. It's that ever deepening love. Love, love, love. Love. Ouch. Exemplar bolt. Where am I going to put that? Right there. Right there. Ow. I'm hurting myself. Oh, hurting myself. Hurting, hurting myself. Oh, goodness. Woo, hoo, hoo. I'm going to light that up. Okay, exemplar of a debo. Okay, let me give you a little description of the bowls. Bowls. This suit is also known as cups. It is best symbolized by some kind of container. It could be a cup, bowl, basket, chalice, or any vessel that serves to remind you to empty yourself each day that you might have room to be refilled. This minor mystery of life, the mystery of emptiness and fulfillment, loneliness and all oneness, surrounds you each day. The lessons teach you to realize that your own body, mind, is the container of love. Within you are worlds and beings, lands and adventures that guide your everyday life. The bowls ask you to come on a journey of devotion, to recognize that you have been given time, and time is the road on which you lay your life day by day. Through time, you are to love. Lessons come your way, and you are to live each one in the highest love that you can generate, offering every life experience to the embodiment of all love, the great spirit within. Spirit dwells everywhere and is up to you to find it. It's in you. You have been given a life of time in which to do so. How you spend your time is how you love. What you spend your time doing is that to which you are devoted. What are you devoted? What you are devoted to is your religion. Your religion is your spiritual expression. It does not have to be formal and dogmatic. Life is to be your love, your expression, your devotion. Every moment is an opportunity for sacrament or sacrifice. You can make life sacred or profane. The bowls ask you to look at what you carry with you. What fills you? What nourishes you? To whom do you offer your sustenance? Your sustenance. 
To whom do you offer your cup of love, your basket of life's harvest? The bowl that carries the food of your life to your body is either simple or luxurious. Either way, it is a sign of the life you are living. What does it say about you? Do you, do you take more than you need, more than you offer? Does anyone go hungry because you eat? These are the questions asked by the suit of bowls. You will now discover how to answer them. And then we go into the ace and whatever, but we're here at the exemplar bowl. So that's just a general description of bowls. And now we'll go into what this exemplar of bowls. Exemplar bowls, ever deepening a love. Hmm. see my highlighting. Ever deepening love. The prayer with this card. Only I, an old one who has raised many children and in them raised the consciousness of the world, can be called great grandmother or grandfather. I have given to all who were young on their road to understanding. I have shared all of my knowledge, all of my poetry, all of my heart's expression. I have loved deeply and long, and I will love you, the newly born living spirit, as well. When you do not like yourself, human child, I will say a kind word. When you are lost, I will point the way and let you know you have the feet to walk the road alone. For in all my love, I am strong. I have lived a long time and many lives. From my experience, you will be renewed. The lesson of the card. Your love has matured. You have many teachings to pass on. Consider how to use your particular talents as a vehicle for the expression of, wis of the wisdom you have gained. It is, it is time for you to settle back and integrate your love experiences. Mm. You have reached a plateau. Look back at the far distance you have come. Count your blessings. Bless others with your presence. Bless others with your presence. Not gifts. Well, yeah, gifts in that way, but, you know, presence. Fully holy, present here now. Mm. You have reached a plan, la, 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 bless your others with your parents. You exemplify, you exemplify aging in grace. Your soul is filled with, youth, with youthful exuberance for life's beauty. That's how we stay young, aging with grace, right? Keeping that soul youthful, <laughs> filled with youthful exuberance for life's beauty. <clears throat> your service to others is as natural as breathing. The light within you radiates fully. You full thrust. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay, sorry. Woohoo! Come back, come back, come back. All right, okay. Woo! Um, um. Oh, the full thrust of your life now goes towards your devotion to higher being. No anger, pain, guilt or remorse can hold you down. Emotions are a gently moving sea of bliss, uplifting a life of steady devotion to a higher good. You live in the simplicity of right relationship and walk a sacred path. Many friendships embrace you on your way. You have shown by example, you have shown by the example of your loving life, a path of liberation from life's problems. Through each one, you have taken the love and action and come through in beauty. Now your life stands as a way others can follow. Your bowls are filled with the treasures of earth and heaven. As you continue to pass on these treasures, your bowl will continue to be constantly filled. For all love given, Love returns. The wheel of life, the wheel of life speaks the law of love. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Biggest heart hugs ever. Thank you for being you. Shining your light through. 
in all that you do. Because you know what? This world needs you. You beautiful being. Look at you, you exemplar of love. Mm, just by your example. Thank you.